Today, the captain stops by. Welcome to Bespoke Unit for a light-hearted, light-spirited rum review. Hello and welcome everybody to another spirits review here at Bespoke Unit. It's summertime, it's time for a bit of Caribbean feel, it's time for a light-hearted and light-spirited rum review with the one and only Captain Morgan. As always, for this review, we're using Bespoke Unit's Liquor Formula, which is a quantifiable review matrix that you can use for your own tasting purposes and if you want to jump right to the results of this review, you can find the entire filled out formula underneath the video, giving you the final score of Captain Morgan White Rum. Now, most of you will probably be well familiar with Captain Morgan's spiced rum of the brand that is now part of Diageo Spirits Conglomerate. The white rum, on the other hand, is a crisp, clean, fresh rendition of the brand that is suitable for mixing for all your favorite rum, Caribbean lung drinks and cocktails like of course Captain and Coke or a mojito and a classic daiquiri. With this review I want to explore whether there is some more layers and nuances other than the fluffy marketing story and the iconic emblem of the captain in there. Um, and we'll get right to it, then we'll explore some pairings and um, which particular drinks or cocktails you could make with it. As for the beginnings, the bottle is simple, clean and minimalistic with, of course, the captain proudly featured on the front. It's got a metal screw cap on top which I believe in the price range that this is in, is perfectly fine. Speaking of, this will probably set you back 11, 12 dollars or euros, depending on where you are. And it's a 37.5%. So definitely in the very low spectrum of uh, a spirit or a rum for that matter. And the product is filtered in order to achieve the perfectly clean white color. And that's where we come to the visuals. As you can see, it's crisp, it's clean, it's minimalistic. Um, there's not much to be said in terms of color. The viscosity is a medium, I would say, with uh, prominent legs running down the side of the glass, but in a rather fast fashion. I'm pretty sure there's quite a bit of sugar in here to make this more enjoyable and more um, charming, if you will, but We'll get to that in a second. The first nose is fresh, it's clean, it's green, it's grassy, but also with a lot of vanilla and coconut and a slight green unripe banana. It definitely got a bit of a, of a funky ester-like smell to it that you would expect from a Jamaican rum, for example, or probably even um, a uh, rhum agricole or a cachaça. And uh, the second nose then reveals some more of the caramel sweetness, a bit of coconut flakes, slightly roasted. There is a hint of American white oak with a charred woodiness that is not overly prominent, but just ever so slightly in the back to give it all a bit of maturity and depth. But as I said, overall, it's clean, it's straightforward, it's crisp and rather refreshing without being too complex or too intricate in its aromatic properties. Let's give it a sip. Given that this is 37.5% alcohol, yes, it is light, it is fresh, it is clean. I can still detect a, a little bit of an alcoholic burn. The company does not disclose any of the individual components that are in there, um, other than there is Jamaican included here. And I guess pretty much all of what comes into the final bottle is column distilled. Some of the blend components are certainly matured for quite a bit of time, but afterwards charcoal filtered in order to get rid of the color and provide you with this white rum experience. But on the palate, 
you can feel there is a bit of sweetness, there is a bit of tanginess, a bit of a sharp alcoholic note, despite being under 40% volume by alcohol, but it does what it should do, and that is give you a simple, clean, fresh rum experience with hardly any aftertaste whatsoever. It's, it's really a short finish, I would say, but if you're looking for an inexpensive white rum that will provide you with a clean sheet and a, and a solid basis for your rum and coke, for uh, a light and zesty daiquiri or for a mojito, this is the one you could go with and the one that you could use. The complexity is medium, I would say, the length rather short, the, the flavor characteristics on a second layer are sort of a lime zest and the juicy lime. There's a little bit of the coconut present as well that we had already in the nose, a bit of vanilla and most definitely the green unripe banana. So in terms of pairings, um, because I spoke of green banana quite a bit, I think um, a few dried banana chips make for a lovely combination and a lovely pairing with Captain Morgan here. Uh, they provide you a bit of sweetness, um, also a bit of tanginess and, and a musky, dark, aged characteristic. So it sort of enhances the rum experience, gives it a bit more length, it gives it a bit more complexity and depth. Uh, when it comes to long drinks and cocktails, for me personally, um, I'm not a huge rum and coke fan. I'd much rather have it with ginger beer. Uh, Again, giving it some, some more spice and character and just a little more in terms of the overall perception on the palate. You could also pour this with a zesty, tangy grapefruit, tonic, or even a bitter lemon. It is a rather versatile uh, spirit that's suitable for many different applications, for many different cocktails and long drinks. Um, classic daiquiri works just a treat with this one as well. But keep in mind, it will give you a lighter and less full-bodied experience compared to the other white rums that are out there on the market with a higher alcohol content. If you're a fan of a mojito, I choose a, an older rum and one that has a bit more character and oomph to it, but this is definitely one for the highball section, in my opinion. This would sit proudly and prominently next to quite a few cigars. Um, you know, I'm a little cautious when it comes to pairing cigars with spirits because of the, the, the high alcohol content. So this one is quite a good combination with a light and zesty and fresh cigar, or you go for something with a darker wrapper that has a bit more sweetness and some of these raisin, cinnamon-ish and dark leathery nuances. Um, I paired it with Davidoff's New Dominicana, which features uh, tobaccos from the 2014 crop. It brings a lot of complexity. It's quite a delicious cigar. And the rum is just a blank sheet underneath that will work as sort of a flavor enhancer without contributing all too much by itself. Just a bit of that coconut and banana freshness and sweetness, but it will sh let the cigar truly shine. Give it a try. I, I mean, this is a, a super affordable bottle. Uh, you could have this for a nice little summer party by the poolside when you have all your friends over and you just wanna drink some, some rather uncomplicated long drinks and enjoy yourselves. This is great bang for your buck. And that's it for today. Keep it fresh, keep it simple and enjoy yourselves, especially in the hot summer days. Make it quality though, and I'll see you next time here at Bespoke Unit with another spiritual review. Until then, you be safe, you be healthy, and always with the very best wishes and spirits. Cheers.